Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. These umbrella brackets on my workbench have worked really well so far, but I think a freestanding umbrella base will be more useful. I'll start by cutting some of this threaded rod to length. The threaded rod was half the price of concrete rebar for some reason. Now I'll measure and mark three more long pieces and four short pieces. Next we need to bend the ends of each long piece, about 50 millimetres, or two inches, from the ends. This piece of steel pipe gives leverage and also makes for a nice tight bend radius. Now we have the four legs, we can prepare the pipe. This pipe has a zinc galvanised coating which burns when we weld it. I'll file off the zinc in the areas that I'm going to weld to minimise the fumes. I can't file the interior of the pipe, but this will make it less bad. Now I'll weld the pipe to the leg framework. This framework will bind the pipe tightly to the concrete, and also make the concrete less likely to crack. You know the best way to weld galvanised steel? Get somebody else to do it. Now I'll mark a centre point on the workbench top. Then I'll use a piece of string to mark a circle on it. I'll use the same piece of string to divide that circle into six segments. That's a nice bit of circle geometry right there. Next I cut six pieces of wood to form the sides of the mould. Then I nailed the side pieces to the base. These small pieces of wood are needed to stop the sides from tipping outward. I had some concrete materials left over from building this retaining wall two years ago. I'll use a bucket to measure this sand and gravel into the wheelbarrow. I like to wear rubber gloves when I'm working with cement. That way your hands only get sweaty, but not dry and crack. This bag of cement has been in my garage for two years, so it's starting to go hard and lumpy. I'm measuring it in the bucket and breaking up the lumps as I go along. I like to use a shovel for the first part of the mixing. Try to use the minimum amount of water. We want this mix to be stiff. A mattock is a better mixing tool than a shovel, but this is still hard work. Now I'll shovel the concrete into the mould. Next I'll use this float tool to pat down the concrete. You can see the moisture coming to the surface as we squeeze out the air bubbles. Now I'll add more concrete and repeat the process. Next I'll use this trowel to remove any air bubbles around the sides of the mould. If we don't do this, then the edges of the concrete will have lots of holes and gaps in it. After a bit more finishing, the base is complete. It's a good idea to keep a few old buckets available for any leftover concrete. If you embed a loop of steel rod in the bucket, the block will be more useful when it dries. Hand mixed concrete like this will stay wet for several hours, and needs at least a week to cure. The concrete tipped out of the bucket much more easily than I expected. The different colours along the side of the block show that the bucket bottom area still hasn't cured. It weighs about 15 kilos or 33 pounds. Now we can remove the sides from the mould.
there are no big holes or voids, so we must have done a good job. Building the umbrella base on top of these pallets was easier, but now I have to get it down. I'm guessing this weighs about 70 to 80 kilos. That's 150 to 175 pounds. I'll use these two ramps and try and slide it down to ground level. I'm definitely not putting my hands or feet underneath this bad boy. Now let's see if we can load it onto this trolley. Damn, that's heavy. Still, I'm pretty sure it'll never blow over in the wind. I'll just wheel this round to the backyard. Unloading is the same procedure in reverse. Careful with your fingers. Now let's put the umbrella in and see if it works. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience. I said Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.